The section of the roof that overhangs the walls is called the cornice. Now while cornices are constructed in a variety of styles and are an important decorative element, they also serve some practical purposes, such as tying the rafters together, protecting the walls, and providing an inlet for attic and roof ventilation. In this section, we're going to construct a simple box cornice, along with installing the roof sheathing on our storage shed. The primary elements of a boxed cornice include the subfascia and soffit. For a level box cornice, the soffit is supported by a ledger board and a series of lookouts. The finished appearance is provided by a fascia board that extends slightly below the soffit. To complete the cornice, a rake fascia is attached to the gable ends, followed by a cornice return to enclose the box. A simplified box cornice can be constructed by installing the subfascia to the rafter tails and then fastening the soffit to the bottom of the rafters. Notice that in this design, the subfascia is beveled to match the rafter angle, and the soffit is beveled to match the rafter plumb cut. To extend the cornice beyond the gable end, a board is added to the fly rafter, and the subfascia extends to the board's outside edge. The soffit also extends out to the backer board, after the addition of the fascia board, the open end is covered by the rake fascia. To construct the cornice, begin by attaching the backer boards to the gable ends. The backer boards are five-quarter stock, providing a lip for the J-channel that will secure the top course of vinyl siding.